good morning students today we are going to uh, again discuss about mmf required for the air cap but the details given are different so that uh, we are having a different formula a small change in bg only okay so given data we are having the core length so l is equal to 0.32 meter including four ducts so number of ducts are given so nd is equal to 4 and then each 10 meter mm wide 10 mm wide so width of the ducts are 10 mm and then pole arc b is given as 0.19 meter and then slot pitch okay ys is given as 65.4 um, mm correct and then slot opening so based on that uh, we are going to calculate mm for the slotted armature correct so width of the slot is the slot opening so 5 mm and then length of the air gap lg is 5 mm and then flux per pole is given as 52 millimeter okay so for this problem uh, we are going to find out atg is equal to 8 lakh bg kg lg okay so length of the air gap this is given the problem here itself and kg we are going to find it out bg also we are going to find it out so first one is we will find out bg for this we know bav by kf or bav by psi correct this is the formula average flux density is not given here and the form factor is also not given uh, so what we are going to do now just substitute the value that is formula for bav so we know bav is equal to p phi divided by phi dl and then this form factor kf is equal to psi is nothing but b by tau b divided by tau is nothing but pole pitch correct pole pitch is phi d by p so if I rewrite this one we will get p b divided by pi d substituting all the values here in b g no we will get b a v is already p phi by pi d l and the denominator psi is nothing but uh, p b by pi d so can we rewrite this one as pi d divided by p b so p p gets cancelled pi d pi d gets cancelled so phi divided by b into l now based on this formula we are able to find out bg because phi is given with you pole arc is given and l is also given so if i substitute here 52 milliweber correct so 52 into 10 power minus 3 divided by b value is um, 0 0.19 and l value is 0.32 so if you substitute you will get bg is equal to 0.8552 in DEA, we have to have at least four decimal places. Then we will have the accuracy. Okay. Then we will discuss kg. How will you find out kg? As I already told in the formula, kg is nothing but kgs into kgd. Gap contraction factor for slot and gap contraction factor for duct. So here duct is given here. So we have to consider kgd also here. If it is not given any word about that means we can omit this one or we can take this as one okay so now we know already kgs formula so kgs is ys divided by ys minus kcs into ws so slot pitch is given in the formula we can find it out but kcs is not given that we have to find it out similarly for kgd that is gap contraction factor for duct also. It is L divided by L minus KCD into ND into WD. Okay. So we are going to substitute all the values after finding out KCS and KCD in this one. Okay. Now in this formula, no, we will have kcs is equal to i have already given the formula for this one right so kcs is equal to 
1 divided by 1 plus 5 into Lg by width of the starter. So substituting here 1 divided by 1 plus 5. Here it is necessary to uh, give us that is confirm that all the parameters should have the same unit. Lg is also in mm and Wsi is also in mm. So um, all the variables here only we have two variables both are in mm so no need of any conversion okay so it is 5 mm divided by width of the slot is also 5 mm so both gets cancelled we will get 1 by 6 so we will get point uh, 1666 goes on right like this and then uh, I will take this as KCS as now point 0.1667 correct four decimal places similarly KCD so KCD is again now mm, same formula 1 plus 5 LG divided by width of the duct so width of the duct is given as 10 mm so 1 divided by 1 plus 5 into 5 divided by 10 I will get 2 5 by 2 2.5 so 1 by 3.5 if I solve this I will get uh, 0.28 so 0.28 so KCS as well as KCD is uh, given here clear so now KG is equal to um, KG S multiplied by KGD now I have to calculate KGS correct KGS is equal to as I have told it is YS divided by YS minus KCS into WS. So YS will be in MM. WS is also in MM. So all the variables in MM. So no need of any conversion. We can directly uh, put here. Okay. So 65.4 MM divided by 65.4 minus. This is a constant. Correct. So I will get this as 0 0.167 multiplied by hmm, WS. It is 5. So after solving this, I will get 1.0139. Okay. Then KGD. Similarly, KGD. KGD is L divided by L minus ND, KCD, WD. So, L value is given. It is uh, here, no. L will be, length will be in meter. But width of the duct will be in mm. So, we have to convert uh, this millimeter in into meter okay that we should keep an eye on this one so 0 0.32 divided by 0 0.32 minus number of ducts or 4 kcd uh, we have calculated this as 0 0.28 now width of the duct is 10 mm the 10 should be converted into meter so 10 into 10 power minus 3 so solving this uh, i will get kgd as 1.0362 okay so KGD I have got and KGS I have got. Now KG is equal to 1.0139 multiplied by 1.0362. So I will get this as 1.0506. Clear? Then uh, I can go for ATG. ATG is equal to 8 lakh KG. BG LG correct a very important thing here to remember is uh, everything should be in same unit correct BG will be Weber per meter square but LG will be in mm so convert that length of the air gap in meter okay so I will get 8 lakh into kg value 1.0506 into BG value um, it is point point eight double five two into one point then length of the air gap length of the air gap is five mm correct so five into ten power minus three so solving this I'll get ATG as three five nine three point eight nine two ampere tons okay so very simple thing the same uh, the formula is same only 8 lakh bg kg lg 
But only thing, here BAV is not given, psi is not given. Directly, they have given flux value. There is no pole value in thing. So, we are substituting the formula for BAV and KF and simplifying this. Then, you will get formula for BG as phi divided by B into K. Okay. Simply substituting this one um, for BG will give the same procedure like other problem. Okay. Thank you all.